Okay, in this video we're going to look at um, two basketball teams first off. Right? And I'm going to find the mean of these basketball teams. So how to find the mean is we add up all the numbers and divide by the number of numbers. Okay, so the mean height of this team is 202 two centimetres. And the mean height of that team is 202 two centimetres. Yeah, let's just have a look <coughs> at the both teams and let's compare them. Um, they look very different. So if you didn't see this picture, and I said, well, there's two basketball teams and they have a mean height each of 202 centimetres, you might be under the impression the basketball teams are very similar. But they're not. See, the mean only, only measures central tendency. It gives you a middle number. But it doesn't really tell the whole story. For instance, <coughs> um, Leo Varadkar might say, well, the... The average wage, or the, or the average wage has gone up, or the average income has gone up in Ireland um, from forty thousand to forty-five thousand. And you might think, okay, we're we're a lot better off, but that doesn't tell the whole story, because maybe that increase is due to the rich getting really getting a lot richer. Maybe the poor haven't got any way richer at all. Maybe the poor have got poorer. Okay. So in order for us to get a better view, we need to find something called the range. And the range is how spread out the data is. So let's have a look at this team. So how we find the range is we minus the biggest from the smallest number. So the biggest guy here is 211 centimetres, and the smallest guy is 191 centimetres. So there's a range of 20 centimetres. <coughs> now we have a look at this one. Again, there's 221 minus 175 equals the range here is 46 centimetres. Now that gives me a better idea. If someone said to me, we have one basketball team <coughs> and they have a mean um, height of 202 centimetres and a range of 20, and the other basketball team again has a mean of 202 centimetres but it has a range of 46, well then I would be thinking, okay, well, the difference between the biggest and the smallest guy on the second team is a lot bigger, so therefore they must have a really big guy and a really small guy, whereas the other team, a lot of the guys would be the same height. Okay. Or, I won't say the same, exact same height, but the heights would be close to each other. Now let's have a look at this. <coughs> okay, let's get the mean of this team. So 216 plus 221 plus 175 plus 203 plus 221 equals that, and divided by 5, 208, 208 centimetres. Okay, let's get the range. We have the range of the top one. The range of the bottom one is, again, I think it's, yeah, there it is. It's 46 centimetres. Let's compare the two, though. <coughs> They're very different. They're very, very different. The only reason this range is the same as that range is because this guy is so small. In the top, the top team, we have two guys big, two guys small, and three guys big. But in the bottom team, we have only one guy small. So even though the ranges are the same, they're still very different. Maybe the interquartile range might be a better way of. Um, of looking at the spread of the data and comparing them. Now, the interquartile range will be difficult to get here because um, because there's only five. But here, here's how we go about it. We'll arrange from smallest to biggest. Five. Uh, oops. So that one's done. That one's done. Two, one, six. Two, two, one. Two, two, one. So there's the mean, so we split that, and now we're looking for these, and now usually we'll get, um, <coughs> we'll get a number, but in this case we don't really have a number here in the middle, so we're going to have to add them up and divide by 2. So it's 175, it's Q1. Q1 is 175. Q2 is 221. So 221 minus 175 equals, again, enter, quarter range. There's 46 in this. Good. Same as the range. Now let's do the same with this. So we have 175, 2, sorry, 2, 
zero three two one six two two one two two one now middle there one seven five plus two zero three so the middle of these two will be one eight nine. Again, now this is not ideal. Okay, it's not an ideal way of getting it to quarter range, but it's the best we can do. The middle of these two is two two one minus one for the other. Minus one eight nine. Thirty two. Inter quarter range, or as best we can get it, is thirty two. So inter quarter range for this one, thirty two. Interquartile range for the other one, 46. So that tells us that this team here, so this team here, is more spread out their heights than this team here. We wouldn't have known that from the range because the range is the same, but we would have known it from the interquartile range. Okay. Uh, lastly, <coughs> we will find the um, Standard deviation. Okay? Now, standard deviation is not for junior set. So, only for leading set. So, if you're in junior set, ignore this. Right. We compare the first two again. Right. I don't know why that's there. Right. So, how do we get the standard deviation? Well, we have to find the mean first. And the mean we said was 2 Two, I think. Okay. Now to get the standard deviation, we look at each and every player, and we see how they are different from their mean. So we'll see how different this guy's height is from the mean, and then this guy's height, and then this guy's height. So what we'll do is we'll say there's the one nine six minus the two o two. Now how is that different to the mean? And then we'll see how LeBron James is different to the mean. Take away the mean there. And we'll see how Stephen Curry is different from the mean. And we'll see how Anton Davis is different from the mean. And then we're going to divide all the, well actually we find the differences first. So 196 minus 202 is minus 6. Okay. And this is 1, positive 1. And this is number minus 11. And this is 6. Okay. So we'll add these up. We divide it by the number of um, players, which is 5, but we don't want any minuses. Okay, we want to make sure there's no minuses here. So how could we do that? Well, if we square each number and then square root it, we make sure that all these pluses turn to minuses. And that will give us 6.22. Okay, so standard deviation is 6.22. Go. So let's do the same for this one. Okay. So let's look at their heights. And for some reason, their heights have gone down. Right. So well, we have five players, and the first height is um, two one six minus two zero two. Plus two one one minus two zero two plus one seven five minus two zero two plus um, again another one seven five minus two zero two plus two two one minus two zero two and remember we square them, and then we square them just to make sure 
that all the answers are positive. Could type that all into the calculator, but let's let's just work away with it. Um, we we'll do it out. So two sixteen minus two zero two is twelve, and two eleven minus that minus two zero two is nine, and then this is five to minus twenty seven. That's minus twenty seven also. And this is um, 19. When we work that out, we get the standard deviation of 20.21. Right, so if we compare standard deviations with a lower standard deviation on the top one, which means the data is more, or sorry, less spread out, we have a higher standard deviation on the bottom one, which shows that the um, the heights of the players are more spread out. Standard deviation is a very, very good way of finding the, um, I suppose, how spread out the data is. Okay, the spread of the data. Um, again, we need to know it for leaving cert. We don't need to know it for junior cert. Okay, thanks, guys.